You already know who you rocking with. It's Young Camo NPN. Shout out Ote Daily. You dick. <laughs> Why the name change, man? Nigga, I mean, I feel like I've been making music for so long. And Elmo was one of those names that I just kind of had, like, from the jump. And, like, in life, it's like, if you don't change your habits, nothing's going to change. And I kind of just felt like that. You feel me? Like, I felt like it was time. Like, ask around. People know about me. I'm Elmo. But it's, bro, we in 2020 right now. It's a new decade. Like, I just kind of needed a new identity. It's kind of about really just finding yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, so I had to switch it up. But y'all ain't helping me out, bro. Niggas be calling me Elmo, bro. Like, what's no, up? We it's now. Camo MPM. What's up, B? <laughs> <laughs> they want me to change. Yo, with Camo, y'all want me to talk about Camo, but I'm not going to lie to you, bro. 2020, my energy is I don't want to talk too much. You know what I'm saying? With Camo, like, I probably, under that name, I probably dropped. I dropped a song and a video, and I dropped something on SoundCloud. But y'all ain't really got, like, you know what I'm saying, the full, like, vision of what's going on like you gonna see 2020 is talk less no politics man i met these dudes it's crazy bruh i probably i'm a, i'm actually like get that to my dude ray you know what i'm saying um we all went to the same university together uh you know what i'm saying in england and it's crazy because for the first like semester the first couple months of uni I was out there, I, I kind of already knew some dudes there, so I was like bullying with them, not really socializing, not really getting to know people, and like I was just doing my own thing. But then come back and, and I wasn't really fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mess with it, like. Nah, not, bro, we didn't get there, we didn't get there. I'm saying, I'm saying like, I wasn't like, my first semester of uni, I was messing with it, but I knew I didn't come here to like, chill with the niggas I already know, you feel me? So, first year, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't messing with too many people, too many new, no new friends, you feel me? I was with my old dudes, came back to Nige, like, you know what I'm saying? December, shit, we got lit. And, bruh, every December, you kind of just have an epiphany. I was just like, bruh, I ain't come to England for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying, you know what I mean? Like, bruh, I came in to expand my network. Let me meet new people in that. And when I came back in January, it's not even really like I actively met new people, but I, I had met a couple dudes before, and they like they put me in like connection with niggas like J11, you know what I'm saying, Dan King, Bozy, you know what I'm saying, Ray, all my dudes. I didn't know them before that. And I'm going to tell you the story, bro. I'll never forget. I had this dude, shout out my dude Hudson, man. Love you wherever you at, you know what I mean? Shout out that dude. Hudson kind of put me on to these dudes. And, like, um, I remember, like, just walking into the room one day. And, like, we was all in uni and stuff still. But the vibe was completely different to, like, what I had been around. Like, these were dudes in my same fashion. I was seeing dudes rocking, like, Raph Simmons, you know what I mean? Just... Niggas looking flea like me, like, bro, like, outfits, when you see someone, like, it speaks for itself, you know what I'm saying? You just, there's a connection there. But anyway, apart from the outfits and shit, it's like, I walked in, dudes was freestyling, you know what I mean? Like, they was rapping, it was a whole ass vibe. I was like, yo, where am I? Like, am I still in the same place? I'm still in uni? So, we did that, and, um... Like, bro, we had a whole freestyle session. I'll never forget that shit, bro. Jay was rapping, bro. I, I ain't know Jay from nowhere, bro. Shout out Jay11. Jay a designer, but that nigga was spitting bars. I'm like, who is this nigga? Like, nigga cold, you know what I mean? And it was just like a big ass friendly vibe. And shit. From then on, um, I just started cooling with them, like, you know what I mean? More and more, you know what I'm saying? We started bullying because they were like minded. And then eventually, maybe like a month or two later, them niggas, um, Ray, Ray Mason, Ray and Mason pulled up to my crib and uh, we was chilling, bro. Like, I love those niggas, but this shit was weird, bro. Niggas was like, yo. Like, they came to my crib. <laughs> they came to my house and they was like, yo, bro, we want you to be a part of this shit. You know what I'm saying? NPM. 
And like, for me, the only reason why I say it's weird is because I was already looking at it like, bro, y'all my dudes. Like, this, is, like, imagine your dudes pulling up and they got you on some formal shit. But they was like, bro, we want you to be a part of this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I already feel like I'm a part of it, bro. NPM is a brotherhood and a collective. You feel me? So. Once they said that, it was official. The first stuff I, I dropped was bars. And then I dropped a little bit of stuff in between. Ray came out with Hunger, but I was cold too. But then like from Camo, Elmo, whatever you want to call me, Camo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I came out with Blast Next, and I feel like they're trying to kind of put me in this box where it's like, oh, he's on this like boom bap, Mac Miller. Fire, it's flea and that's me yeah. but i'm also very versatile and niggas don't realize they don't know it's not even realized they don't know and like bro it's all it's a process we coming nah i didn't man 2017 cypher what was crazy about that was like i was in like i was in atlanta you know what i'm saying i was in my crib i was kind of just scrolling through my notes because i bro man i got but i was scrolling through my notes and I saw some, like, a, just a verse from 2017. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is a little bit cold. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of fucking with this. Like, it's kind of dope. But um, so I played it over a beat. And this was in 2019. This is, like, two years later. You know what I mean? Played it over a beat. Shit was fire. I was like, yo, <laughs> let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I recorded it. It wasn't even that serious. I recorded it. And, like, when I played it back, it was kind of dope. I played it for a couple dudes. They were like, yo, bro, this shit hard. And like, once enough people told me it was hard, I was like, yo, maybe it is. Even though, personally, like, I fuck with it, but it's like, it's that shit old. You feel me? But yeah, I got my niggas to hop on there. Shout out Zan, shout out Cash, shout out New World. You know what I mean? That's gang. Yo, the way I just told this story about um 2017 Cypher, it's a similar situation with Blast. Blast was old. Blast was mad old, bro. I probably made that shit 2016, maybe early 2017, you feel me? And, like, I was playing, like, music for my dudes in 2018, and Ray heard it. He's like, bro, what's good? <laughs> like, what's going on with this one? And I'm like, all my mu not all my music, but I'm waiting for the right time. Like, I got a plan. Don't watch. But, like, Ray's like, bro, what's going on? What we doing this one? And I'm like... Bruh, I don't know. <laughs> he like, yo, F this. I had a second verse. He like, yo, bruh, let me and Mace hop on this. So Mace on the hook, people don't even know because I put it as a feature. Mace on the hook. Ray gave us a sick-ass verse, you know what I'm saying? Blessed it. Shout out Ray, you know what I'm saying? And we were just having a blast. We was living the life, bro. We copped the video, you know what I'm saying? We copped the camera. Shout out Video Girl, you know what I'm saying? That's in the works, too. Video girl going crazy, you know what I'm saying? Look out for that. Shout out Ray and everybody else. But um, yeah, man, we did that. Shot the video. We got a tape right now, but what you gotta do, I feel like with this, shit, you gotta sit on your stuff. We got a tape, bro. We've been working. This is four years in the making. We just want to make sure it's right, you know what I'm saying? Everyone right now is on their like individual shit, trying to grow as an artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to develop camo. All my niggas is trying to do their own thing, and it's like, once it, once it comes full circle, bro, it's just it's gonna make sense. What I wanna do though is that even like with no politics, mob, bro, like we're a collective, bro. Like we're not a, like a rap group, you know what I'm saying? We don't like all we make music together, but everyone is their own person, you know what I mean? And it's like you can see niggas like 2,500. Y'all can see what's happening. You know what I mean? And everything, as long as everyone pulls their weight, everything has a domino effect. I mean, I'm in Atlanta, man. I had to switch it up, you know what I'm saying? I was in London for like a couple years, man, three, four. It just felt like it was time to, I got family in Atlanta. I used to live back there. Felt like it was time to take it back home. It's a different, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, it's a different scene, it's a different scene. It's a, like, you know what I mean? Like, the whole culture is just different, you know what I mean? I'm coming from Nigeria, stroke London, to Atlanta. That's America. And it's just it's just different, man. But with everything in life, like, you kind of got to adapt to change and shit. So what I'm trying to do is just 
figure it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's all good. I've only I ain't even been there a year yet. So, like I said, I have like as an artist, like it kind of hurts me how much music, how much unreleased music I have, cause. Niggas don't know what I'm on, but bruh, I got collabs, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna see what's happening. Yeah. But I could use this time, like the two people I fuck with very heavy, two producers, man. Tochi and Higo. Them niggas is hard. Them niggas, I wanna work with those niggas, like, for real. That shit flee. I got I actually got a I got a I got a song with the Tochi beat, but you know what I'm saying I need more. The song I got is fire, but I'm trying to make more fire. Ideal artist to work with, man. For me, that's a difficult question because something I pride myself on is just doing shit myself and like being able to do my own thing. So I don't even be thinking about all of that. Of course. There are probably a lot of dudes I, I would want to work with, but when it comes, it comes, bruh. Whoever trying to work, what's up? What am I listening to, bruh? I'm actually trying to get into DJing, bruh. I ain't going to cap to you. DJ Camo, nigga, watch out for me. 2020, I'm not, like, this is real shit. Bruh, I don't even know when it's coming out, but, nigga, it's real shit. I'm a DJ, and, like, with that said, I'm listening to, I listen to everything, bro. I don't have one genre or new shit, old shit. I'm all over the place, bro. Ask, bro, ask about me. Camo, I'm the ox god, nigga. Like, they know about me, bro. Like, if you had a function, do not give me that ox. Like, if you're not trying to get fucked up, because, bro. <laughs> they know about me, man. They know about me. I'm lit. I'm all over the place. You can ask me, like, what you trying to play right now. I might... What, bro? What was I just playing? Just some Jill. Some Jill. I was just spinning Jill Scott. Just spinning some Jill. What you know about that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Alternative Network.